Yo, what's going on guys? And today we're hearing that the San Antonio Spurs are shopping Doug McDermott and Jetty Osman. As of this, those are two veterans that we know the Spurs have made widely available according to Mark Stein at the Stein line. Both players, McDermott at $13.8 million and Osman at 6.7 are on expiring deals. J McDermott is the best corner, not corner, my apology, cur off the screen curl shot shooter okay so when you see on the top of the key and you set a you know an off ball screen and mcdermott catches it and curls kind of like a curl route in football and then literally just shoots it he's like probably one of the greatest of all time at doing that mm -hmm. and he's six foot eight he's actually surprisingly a really good def not defender but rebounder for his size and his position you basically with mcdermott you get a generational shooter arguably and a a guy who can rebound only thing is that he kind of is a turnstile on defense and he doesn't provide he can pass he can pass jetty osman is a little like swiss army knife he tries on defense he isn't the best he grabs rebounds he can put the ball in the deck rebound he can score he's not the best shooter but he, some nights he, he touches god and he can shoot it so that's 20 million dollars right there that they they want to move i personally see them as a as a team that's looking at maybe other teams that are trying to dump salary and are like hey we'll take your bad contracts like let's say the orlando magic want to jump dump jonathan isaac all right here's jetty osman and doug mcdermott for the end of the year i wouldn't be surprised if those are deals that the the spurs are looking at it just makes sense i'm surprised that doug Devonte graham was not put in there i know that we heard before that the you know there was talks of guys like Keldon Johnson or to be traded, but I don't think Keldon's going anywhere. And I remember Bull Bull was a guy that we heard they were interested in, and if before he started getting minutes with this team, so I think it's definitely interesting to go ahead and like speculate who they could go out. I personally think let's go get a point guard. Let's go get Malcolm Brogdon. Okay, with that money, you can go get Malcolm Brogdon. No offense to the guards they have. I mean, Trey Jones the other night dropped the 30 bomb that I was not expecting. He dropped four or six from three. Was not expecting that. I mean, Devontae Graham's played in eight games. I'm telling you guys, like, let's let's go out and get ourselves a guy like Mr. Malcolm Brogdon. I think he would be huge for this team. Wemby to have an actual point guard? No offense to Trey Jones, but that idea I could get behind. And that's the thing with this is that we heard, you know, the DeJounte Murray stuff and just the problem with the, any DeJounte Murray trade is the assets. They genuinely don't have the assets to, to make that trade happen is what they're saying. So for me, it makes sense that nothing's happened there. And I, I don't know. What do you what do you guys expect from from a team like the Spurs to go out and get. I think the point guard position is the most important. You got Devin Vassell, you got Kelvin Johnson, you got Jeremy Sohan. Some nights, you know, Malachi brought him and Blake Wesley looked decent. You got Zach Collins, who I like. I think Don Barlow needs more minutes. Charles Bassey's hurt, but that you have Sandro. So I think, and obviously Wemby, but I think the weakest position is the guard position. And they don't have a true point guard that can shoot because the only point guard they have is Trey Jones. And he, I mean, he touched God the other night, but that doesn't happen often with Trey Jones. And we all know that for a fact. So for me, that's where like you think, okay, if I'm a team like the Spurs, I'm trying to make sure I can go out and take care of my, of my, of my guys. So I don't know. That's, that's where I want to hear your guys' opinions what do you guys expect from the san antonio spurs this trade deadline do you think the roster will stay intact do you think they'll make a big splash because i think they have the the pieces to maybe do something if need be but at the same time i don't think they need to get ahead of themselves and make any rash decisions if that makes sense but yeah i, say, I think they, at the very least the the situation is funny in terms of the Spurs, if they play their cards right, they could very well be one of the top teams next season in terms like they could have an Oklahoma City Thunder esque turnaround. 
by next season and that's not me trying to be like super hyping them up but yeah that's my thoughts like comment subscribe the rest of the video will be the last spurs video we made so if stick around if you guys want to hear the other spurs rumor we heard so hoops hype is writing that devon Devontae Graham, Chetty Osman, and Doug McDermott are guys. Keep an eye out for that could potentially be bartering trips for the Sacramento, not the Sacramento, my apologies, San Antonio Spurs. That was embarrassing. But the San Antonio Spurs, I just made a video about the Sacramento Kings. You guys should go check it out. Davion Mitchell is available. Maybe the Spurs want him. But with the San Antonio Spurs rebuilding and being one of the, arguably one of the worst, I believe, defenses is it this year? I gotta confirm that, but it's just not been great and there there's holes on this roster that need to be addressed yeah they're the 28th ranked offense and the 27th ranked defense so just they're the worst net rating in the league so for the squad doug mcdermott Devonte graham and jetty osmond are all expected to be available ahead of the nba trade deadline doug mcdermott and jetty osmond are both going to be free agents this season and Devonte graham's only guaranteed 2.85 million dollars now doug mcdermott you're getting one of the best curl off curl screen shooters in the league and that's about it maybe a little he actually is having the best passing season of his career like career he's playing basically 16 minutes a night which is lowest minutes since his rookie season but he's averaging the most assists in his career so there is kind of that going on there which is kind of funny now he, he's still stroking it. Doug McDermott's going to come in and shoot 40% for you no matter where you are. That's one thing you got to be happy. Now, Devontae Graham, you've barely seen him play this year. Last year for the Spurs, he averaged like 13 points a night. His, he's, his, he basically isn't the most efficient shooter, but he'll give you a few, like four assists, three rebounds, and play hard no defense. Is it good? And that's up for interpretation, but I think he can be a guy who can be like an impactful guy off the bench for a team like maybe the Suns okay so if they wanted to get rid of somebody they could and Jetty Osmond's actually been the one who's been playing the most he's been playing just under 20 minutes a night he's been averaging eight and a half points 46 percent from the field 40 percent from three two rebounds two assists and just under a steal a night so for him it's actually been not that bad which kudos to him I'm just uh, amazed by the the team being this bad because we i i have faith that they would maybe be a little bit better because of victor Wembanyama. like like playing playing like not bottom team in the league so i'll admit i was a little bit caught off guard and that's where i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section what did you guys think of the san antonio spurs and why was your expectations for them this season and which players do you think will get traded but yeah that's basically it for me i hope you guys did enjoy